Hi, hello, welcome to the House of Animation. The front door is always open, so do come on in and enjoy the magic of animation and join us on our journey as we discuss animated films of all kinds. As always, I am the host, Ben Gilman. I am joined by the Wicked Witch of the East, Tara Chloe. Hello. How's Batman? What Batman? Yeah, the secret Batman. I don't have Batman. Well, he tells me he's seen you. Um, so, so I know we're joined by Prince Charming, Troy Salmon. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I am here to greet you with my presence once That's again. Casanova. Yes, Casanova. With my cool dead sack. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That was Casanova. Brilliant. That's a penis joke already done. So today I'm here to talk about we're here. Well, I'm not here. We are all here collectively to talk about Wally. Wally, right. Wally. Wally. Who is not short circuit. <laughs> he does look like him. Shots, oh my. Shots fired already. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> Wally is look at him. He is short circuit. Big eyes. It's 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 yeah. short circuit. It's basically short circuit. It's a mini version of short circuit. That's basically what you. Thank you. Uh, Wally is a 2008 American. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, science fiction film produced by Pixar Animation and published by Walt Disney Pictures. Um, it basically is about a robot called Wally. Mm-hmm. Um, who is on a future um, deserted Earth, left to clean up garbage. However, he is visited by a probe sent by the starship Axion, a robot called Eve, with whom he falls in love and pursues across the galaxy. Now, this film, um, this is a brave film because there's barely any dialogue until the fat humans turn up. <laughs> Yeah, the fat people. Yeah, fat American. The big, big men, as Tom said. The big American looking motherfuckers. That is yeah. basically America. It's basically taking a shot at America. Yeah. yeah they're in the fat chairs whizzing around. Like, oh, you know, yeah, you see, yeah, yeah. You see them in England, chubby women in their fat little fat bodies, can't the driving a little motor scooter thing. <laughs> too fat. Troy will know what I mean. Yeah, definitely. Trust me, I know what he means. Shots no, no. Um, uh, this- Painful to look at for some reason. I don't know why. So, what do you guys think of this movie? Because there's barely any dialogue, and you have to establish between Wally and Eve the romantic. Uh, it's the cutest yeah. romantic relationship in all of Disney and Pixar, I think. It's my favourite. It's a great, it's a great relationship. It is, it's really good. Mm. I'll go on to go on talk. Uh, I think back then, uh, maybe they were depicting, like, you know, this is a possibility of what can happen in the future. Because firstly, humans are selfish. All they do is like, yeah, they just consume and consume. And that explains the fat people on the like, you know, the flying wheelchairs and eating, yeah, just eating and watching movies. Yep. And in the future, it's most likely that, you know, um, AI and technology will take over, which in turn makes humans lazy and sluggish as, you know, being fat on flying wheelchairs. So that's what they're depicting in the movie. That's what I think about it. Yeah, definitely. That's, that is definitely yeah. huge. Look, if, they, if, if they have any sort of AI, that's exactly what's going to happen to them. You're hopping around the place, looking like mold up from, from Marvel. No, no feet. Yeah, like, I can't thing. be able to walk. Yep. <laughs> and the uh, saddest part is I actually do know people like that in real life. We won't name names here, though. Cause yeah, we're not, yeah. We're okay, not I, fire at real people. I wouldn't say his name or anything, but I actually knew someone who who will only take like taxi. He won't take public transport, and he would always ask, you know, uh, because over here we have this culture of going to like you know the hawker center and all, and taking away food and bringing it back to. Like you know, yeah, he he wouldn't even go out to buy his food. He would just get someone to do it, or he would call delivery and everything, because he was you know basically the size of those people in Wall E. So basically, right, I I think he's already a cripple or a handicap. So all those people are you know in Wall E are basically cripples. Yeah, he even said their bone their bones density is literally shrunk. <laughs> even in the movie they say yeah, the bones density exactly. is shrunk to pieces. Yeah, no bones, hardly any bones left. The space and that gravity stuff. Wow, that's insane, bro. It's just it's just because of the movie literally just shows like a droid to Wally, the the old droid, literally still living on the only robot still working on Earth. Looks like he's still compacting these little metal stuff, like <laughs> still doing his job every day, solar energy. Um, and 
Earth, like the humans have literally left Earth how many years ago and <laughs> he's still doing the job just in case they come back at some point when, when um, life comes back to the planet because life has literally been shut down at this point. Um, there's, no, there's no plant life. There's, there's nothing like that going on. No, the soil's been um, corrupted. All the trash have left everywhere. Um, there's even trash in, in the in the orbit as well. It's just like it's, it's a mess. It's yeah. A mess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So at this point, um, and you can see like an advert for yeah, you can get get um get a trash compact to get a wally to help you clean up the way you need to clean up. And then they've literally left um for especially most people for a short time, like a holiday. But it's turned to like how many <laughs> turned to a hundred years or something like that. I was like, what, I was like, what is this? I was like, this is crazy. This is real life right now. If, if basically, if humans don't take care of the planet, this is what could happen. Mm. The Earth is going to be just trash. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, that's what is happening right now. Literally, Let's take care of the ozone. You know what I mean? All stuff. Take care of the Earth at some point. Carbon footprint, all that stuff. Everything that people talk about now. Um, this is basically the um culmination of what's going to happen to the planet at some point. We don't want to get too preachy, but yeah, 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 but literally, that is what this movie is about being a bit preachy. But, um, but this is what it's about, but you're doing it in a, in a playful way, so you do it in a fun, in a fun way because, um, Wally he's, he almost takes on like the human traits of the humans before him, where he likes he starts watching TV, he's got his own little house, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, a robot's got his own little house, it's like what, the yeah. Heck? Yeah, he's got his own lights. He's goes in there. Oh, comes from my he's mother. pimped it out well. Yeah, yeah. He pimps out his own house. He pimps out his ride and then walks out and changes his, his tires from time to time. He has to use the old droids. Go, chee, chee, chee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> goes into his house. That like, Wally well, put TV on, Boy. watching people like I'm um, singing and dancing, watching uh, Mary Poppins, whatever the heck he's watching, and watching old movies. Um, rewinds the tapes if he needs to go back or anything like that, and kind of takes on. Everything that he watches, he's kind of learning. He's, like, he's, he's an AI at this point. He's evolved past the usual Wally system. You know what I mean? He's, he's become more than what um, he was programmed to do at this point. Um, and he's literally trying to find out: oh, is anyone else going to be out there? Is I'm going to be the only one on Earth forever? So basically, he's waiting for someone. And that's when, um, as Ben said before, this is when Eve comes in. You know, comes down where the humans literally can't come down to inspect the planet after all these years. Send Eve down like another AI robot, a more advanced version of Wally, as you'd expect, because they've been living in space for all these years. Um, and they kind of inspect his any kind of plant life going, so that's where she's going out to scan. And she's like literally a, 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 <laughs> um, an actual killing machine as well. She can blow stuff up. So I, was, I found that interesting as well. I was, I was like, damn, it's just a laser beam just destroying stuff, plasma cannon. Um, and then Wally and Eve start to form a, a bond at some point. Because he's taking care of her whenever she shuts down. Uh, when she goes to sleep, he's kind of like, "What is what is this? This this little um this um poor droid talking to me about? You know, what I'm, saying? I'm I'm a higher I'm a higher being in this little little droid. What's this droid trying to do? And also this little cockroach as well that follows him around. I forgot about the little cockroach. The little little cockroach running around. Obviously, as you say before, cockroach is going to survive a nuclear explosion. Anything yeah. that we, whenever, whenever humans ain't gonna survive it, cockroach is gonna survive. So they can't play. Apparently they can. Yeah. Apparently yeah, they found them as well. <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, at some point they go to um, the show space at some point um, when Eve um, gets taken back because she found some plant life at some point, um, which is a sign that Earth can be lived on again. It's breathable. Um, plant life is, has returned and they can go back to their home. But um, as, as you can tell, they um, see the space, Axiom, you see the planet, uh, their new kind of planet, as it were, on their ship. Um, and you show see all the um, <laughs> American, um, uh, what do you call it, the American, as, as in the movie They Live, I've never seen that movie They Live, a horror, an old um, horror movie back in the day. Um, consumerism taking hold, you know, of the American way. Everyone's living in a lot of all fat, everyone's out of shape. No one knows how to talk to each other. All they do is um, they stick on their AI, and you know, talking on their phones, you know that kind of thing. Talking on their phones, like, ah, la, 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 all day. You know that's all it's they do. Basically, what you see now. I, again, I don't want this to turn into a fuck. It's, it's going to be. It's got. You can't help it. But you see people <laughs> now walking down the street with their yeah. phones. Yeah. They don't. People are so glued to their goddamn phones now. They don't yeah. see where they're going. 
Exactly. Give yourself busy with you. Don't know. be too busy. Don't say sorry. Well, no, I go into people. Sure. Like, like, I go into people and I knock their phone flying now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's I've literally done that all before. I'm like, I'm hey, I support going. people. I legitimately last week had this trouble. I went knocked into them. I was like, well, you should get off your phone then, shouldn't you? Exactly. Stay if like, you make my job difficult, you can see that I'm helping an old man. You on your phone, watch where you're going. It's their fault. I've had this out. Um, it's it's annoying. No, and I don't see why if I've picked my direction, if you're on your phone, I'm going into you. It's simple as that. I've done that before. I'm like, I'm waiting well, for them to move. I'm, out, I'm, I'm going straight. I'm like, it's arrow. I'm going straight. I was like, it's up to you to move. You're the one with the phone. The phone you're yeah, yeah, yeah. And if people look broken their phone, it's like, well, I ain't paying for it. It's your fault. You shouldn't be walking down the road texting. You should watch where you're going. Because <laughs> I know where I'm going. I select my music, put it in my pocket. I walk down the road. I stop, select my thing. Is that yeah, it's gonna change in the current spot? I don't walk down the road using my phone because like no. it's just asking for trouble. Yeah, I never do that. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. Mm. I don't want to turn this into No, it's uh, just it's just it's gonna happen. <laughs> Snagging off as a human being, a uh, human race, but like you can see that people aren't using their brains yeah, now. Yeah, that's the thing. The thing is this movie is snagging off the human race. This is the whole point of the movie. It's snagging off the human race because this is what the human race has turned into. This is the futuristic version of what it is now. That's mm. basically what it is. The phone is upgraded to like a system that like, you can see in front of you. A pop up system. But zoop, zoop, that's the person you're talking to right there in your face. You know, so that's basically what it's going to turn into. Like everyone's going by, bumping into. But instead of like bumping into each other, they've got like an all made system where the, the AI is taking control where you're going or where you're going to. So you can't really bump into each other unless. <laughs> and what Wally himself for being like. Wally. A, Wally, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, first of all, bumps into like one of the people who are just going by and kind of knocks them out of their virtual world, as it were. You know what I'm saying? They're linked into everything they do, talking to someone, and they kind of wake up, they kind of go, Oh snap, I didn't know we had a swimming pool. You know what I'm saying? It's been there all those years. Yeah. So I think they can't see life for what it is now. Like they can't see, oh my days, what have we turned into? You know, and that's what I'm saying. They can't just knocks one of them out of the way and kind of goes, like, can't you see I'm I'm, I'm coming? Like, can't you can't you see me? The kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of thing they play into. Can you see me? I'm here, I'm a you I'm like I'm a I'm a thing, I'm 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 in front of you right now. I'm never seeing it. And it's and it sends the message of people were relying too much on yeah, technology. Um, yeah. technology to mm. get things done. Yeah. Which they are. Yeah. People are. They're not they doing are. enough themselves. They've been told by phones, there's too many people you get social media, like this COVID thing. People yeah. are reading too much on social media, have all this fake information and all that stuff. They're too reliant on other people's opinions. Yeah. When did we become this lazy ass? <gasps> when did this happen? That's what I want to know. Before exactly. we, our phones, we were a lot more go do it ourselves. Now everything's too easy. We forgot how to do difficult things. You can't be talking to one anymore. It's, like it's, just, it's hard for someone to be talking to anyone anymore. It's tough. It's tough for them. Like, ah, I don't know what to say. Like, ah, text. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's one of the things where it's just so hard to talk to someone. It's like, ah, oh, I don't really know. Ring them up a car. Nah, it's just easier to text. Uh, and they might be even literally near you as well. And it's just texting, like, literally down the street, down the road. I mean, for example, you don't use your phone a lot because I can never get hold of you, Troy. So <laughs> Come on, man. Go on. Half the time working, but. At the same time, it's true because I, I, I try yeah, but not, I'm not I, 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 I try not to as much because um I try even even when I'm going out to like do taking long walks or something like or just doing a jog, I try not to take my phone with me. I try not to do that. Just just a thing where you just kind of got to kind of separate yourself from like you know what I'm saying the technology based world that we live in now. Even if it's just a little bit, a couple of hours maybe. That's it. You kind of chill it. That's it. So you got to kind of try and do that as much as I can, but yeah. But obviously, you got everything's linked to social media or like work now. It goes through technology, so you, you have to use it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not something you can literally just turn off like forever. Like you can't do that, especially if you're working in a certain where you work. So yeah, is. I have the same rules. If I'm on a break, I quickly check my phone. But if I'm not, then like, I'm sorry, I'm not available. And a lot of people don't understand that bit of my job. Like, why can't you take a phone call? Because if I'm supporting someone, it's like, well, yeah, I'm kind exactly. of... Exactly, you're working, you know what I Because mean? re- my job involves looking after people with disabilities. It's not about me, it's about when I've got my thing to do, like, so, you know. Yeah. Exactly, it's true, it's true. Sometimes you've got to kind of show up sometimes, you know what I mean? 
It's yeah, yeah. Some, some people just can't do it. They just literally. I love turning my phone off. Yeah. So they, they can't do it. it. To them, it's like death. If they try to do it, it's like, oh my days, I can't do anything. I can't. I can't my live. family do that a lot. They they don't understand. Like, oh, I'm busy working. Um. And it was like, oh yeah, can you just like do 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 do? It's like, no, I'm busy working. Like, try to get people to understand. Like, no, I'm not. My job is not easy. Um, but no, they try to, they just try to, um, yeah, basically, yeah. I'm okay. I'm Back to the movie. Um, Wally is the most like, I'm surprised now. It makes me want to watch more movies where they're not too talky, yeah, because well. you don't need until the humans turn up. There's not a lot of dialogue, and I like the fact that Wally is a nice dude. Hmm. I know he's just a, just a guy, just you know saying, just doing his job, going about his day. Friends. Yeah, just trying to try to get a girlfriend, man. Just trying to live his life, man. That's all he's trying to do, man. That's all he's trying to do. He's just trying to get by, you know. In I life. mean, I'm glad we didn't see his, um, you know, like his robotic work oh. piece. What? Here we go. Let me let me upgrade you with my penis. Oh my oh, god! Oh, robotic disgusting. <laughs> Little bit of the end, the end credits. Boo, 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 boo. Wally has downloaded into you. Very <laughs> long face. This guy's crazy. Bro. I just, I'm glad that they didn't do that. If I would, I would be the worst director of all time. You wouldn't want to. You'd be the worst. I would not trust you with a movie. I wouldn't do it. I'm yeah. like, no, no. I'm scared. Yeah, we have a director. Um, no, 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 I'm having a producer. Part. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, USB port. <laughs> USB port. Burger and lobster. Oh my gosh, trust me. I, would, I wouldn't trust many of them. You should be like, yeah, I've got the director. He's a great dynamic guy, you know what I'm saying? Very creative, uh, very outside the box. Uh, his name is Ben Gilbert. I'm, I'm like, man, I, I know that guy. No, 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 no. Run no. away. Run, run away. away. Run away. <laughs> Oh, girl, run away from me, please. You wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to. I'll be like, I want to make a PG movie now. I'll be rated R. Let's see if Ben takes over rated R. Why don't you just chop up fat people (laughs) in the human ship? (laughs) Do you not find that, like, it's a bit cheap, the ending? Or do you think, like... Oh, the ending. Um, I think it does a pretty good job without being too cheesy. Yeah, it's a a decent ending. that It didn't go overboard, which it could have. Uh, just just kept it simple. Humans came back to Earth, you know what I'm saying? They come out up, and that was it. Um, fixed Wally back up. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't anything too crazy. Just humans that uh, I mean, even in the end credits, see the humans rebuilding the earth bit by bit in the end credit scene. Um, but but yeah, that was that was a solid ending. Humans, humans are back, you know what I'm saying? They've got to try and uh, basically on um, the captain himself saying he knows how to take care of the earth better nowadays. You know what I'm saying? That's you know the, the errors of their ways. Apparently, we're so wrong. <laughs> well, the errors of our ways. As he was downloading on, on the ship, he was basically. Fu- and, and the thing is, as well, they did a on oh, 2001 Space Odyssey reference in there as well. You got the AI, the HAL 9, and that was it. Was it HAL 9? They did, yeah. HAL yeah, yeah like, something. Can I go back to Earth? I, I love them coming back to Earth, though, and yeah. then it's really getting them to do stuff to reclaim their planet. It was really. Yeah. Like you know, the evil AI. <laughs> the type of situation where to yeah, stop the AI, go back to Earth. Again, no real big bad guy or anything. Again. Yeah. Yeah, not really any big bad except for the AI. But even then, it's like it's not really. It. Yeah. It's just it's AI. Yeah, just the AI, just the douche. I do want to go back. It's like no. Douche. I down there. <laughs> just a douche mm. nozzle. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's that's basically the big bad is the, the, the evil AI. That's what it is. What about you? What about you, Tara? Yeah, go on, Tara. We're talking mm-hmm. about you. Well, I'm not sure actually. Oh my gosh, sorry, I got lost. Yeah. Just to <laughs> help you out at home, Tara is flagging a little bit now. Ah, um, the vaccine. That's why. Yeah. The vaccine. The vaccine. Yeah, don't just, have I'm hiring someone now to come and slap you across the face to make wake you up. They're going to come through that, that special door. Yeah. Batman. Where's Batman? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Batman? <laughs> Where's Batman? <laughs> I want Batman. Batman. I want Batman. 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 Batman.
Oh, Wake up. Just your big titty man to stop us. Just your big titty man to stop us. Right, yeah. So what do you think, Zara? Yeah. Of the show? Yeah, of the yeah, film, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like, I don't know why I liked it. Oh, you don't know what? <laughs> the, main, the main robot, the, he's really cute. Yeah, the robot. Main robot. I'm about to say, thanks for coming. No, about that. Like, so, what's your favorite part of the film? Yeah. Hmm, I'm not sure actually. I mean, it's been some time since I watched the film, but I can still remember what happened. But uh, I, as for now, I don't really have a particular favorite part of the film. Okay, but. Um, I'm trying to say what much my favorite part. I think. Mm. While, while you're thinking, I'm just gonna say I think Wally's is one of Pixar's best films ever. It it's underrated. No one's talking about this film anymore. They should. A lot of people talk about it, but it's not up there like with the big boys. No, it should be. As, as it should be. As it should be. In terms of pure cinema, you know what I'm saying? It's pure like not non-speaking. It's pure like, art. That's what it is. It's an it's an art piece. It's, it's art. Oh, I go with that. Um, I was gonna say favorite scene though. Hmm, I'm trying to think favorite favorite scene. Probably no, no, actually no, no. I've got favorite scene actually. I said my favorite scene is when when they go with with the um the faulty robots. Faulty robots. Yeah, all the faulty yeah, robots. Yeah, yeah. They go in the traffic soon. The guys like ah, and they chain him up. <laughs> That was, my funny, that was the funniest scene that actually made me laugh a lot. With that 40 robot, just the arms just going everywhere. And then he's like, nah, he's, just, he's like a prisoner. He's like, he's like, a, he's like a crazy prisoner. And then his time up, he's like, nah, nah. That made me laugh. That's what my favorite I, scene I do love like like him like with the TV. Yeah. To, to, to teach Eve. I also yeah, just, I started laughing the fat humans there because I wasn't oh. expecting that. <laughs> I was like, that was funny though. The humans are showing them. I was like, these people are fat. It just makes sense. It makes sense. That's us. That's <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, you see on the wall as well, all the captains, the skinny captain, and then they gradually get fatter in the picture. It's like, all the captains like um, after him. I love it. Like, you should get fatter and fatter each each year. He's on a couple of years. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just just makes sense. Where well, he's just like, it's, even when he's, he's at the table, it's like this. His belly's just so big. He's at the table, like, I uh, put the teacher chair up. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't, you can't press a button that's how fat he is that was funny as it <laughs> some people will do fat people stuff <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh and they did the, the 2001 space odyssey music as well the, 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 the first, first of step for man when he, he literally just stands up for the first time he's like oh oh this is like the first time he's trying to walk <laughs> that was funny yeah, that was a good part of the movie as well. Yeah. Just first class to walk. That's what my favorite Oh was. my god! You're talking about fat so much that I accidentally typed fat chicken. I think we all know where Tara's brain's gone. Yeah, I think we know where Tara's brain's gone. She wants the chicken, she wants that chicken. That's KFC, that's what she wants. Jesus Christ, I didn't realize she was such a chicken fiend. So like KFC. I thought I mean like it once a week was bad enough, but she's she, she actually used to get a KFC. I was right. She she's looking at KFC. <laughs> I knew like, it. I knew she was looking at KFC. See you, guys, she's looking at KFC right now. That's what she's that's what she's doing right now. It's been a three hour recording block. I think Tara is just about breaking down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna just quickly refer back to some stuff. So yeah. okay, so the budget was 180 million. How much do you think it made? Mm. Oh, yeah. well, this movie must have made some decent money. It must have made yeah, at least 600. Uh, yeah, I'm going 500. 521 million. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Which back then was pretty normal. Yeah, that's back then it was normal, yeah. And basically, I don't feel like it punches too hard on the whole you've got to look after Earth, otherwise it dies thing, which a lot of other movie studios would have done. Yeah. Um, I'm always a bit concerned about that. I mean, they, they, they did it in a smart way in this movie. They did it in a smart way. It does it in a way where you don't feel like you've been spoken down to. Hello, Doctor Who, Orphan, whatever the fuck. Exactly. Number. See? See? Exactly. Fucking wankers. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to give this movie a nine. I'm going straight with a nine. Yeah. I'm going to go. This movie is so damn good. I'm going to go 9.5. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll give it a nine as well. Just for the jelly physics on the fat bodies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if you get that fat, I'm not. I'm not feeling sorry for you. 
Sorry. <laughs> Don't be that bad. You've got yourself there. Yeah, a way of turning back. <laughs> like, bro, no, if you've once, got once, that, you can't see, you can see your feet, then you know you're too soft in the bike, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry, but if you're that fat, you're that fat. <laughs> sorry, I'm not saying yeah. sorry about that. Once you look down, you can't see your feet. So yeah, you got you to be it. Yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> but if you but if you if you're fat, you're fat. You you, you deserve <laughs> it. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not having it with fat people. They always make you want to be sorry for them, but you put your fucking self in that. That hole is your own fault. True. Fat true. people, you need, you need to, to exercise. you need to take responsibility for how fat you are. Why? Well, you know what I saw the other day? It's actually really nasty. I actually saw someone who's extremely overweight on a wheelchair, and yeah, I think the person was diabetic. They had a limb amputated, which is actually quite bad. Ah. That's, that's one yeah. of the problems with being, being fat as well, man. It's one of the problems. Yeah, the diabetes. Yeah, so it's better to fat and you're diabetic. It's a wrap, bro. It's game over. Yeah. yeah. Better to exercise to get, you know, the blood sugar down. Yeah, that's why. Keyword the day: exercise, bro. Exercise. Anyone that tells me I'm fat, just I'll point you to Wally. If you're not that fat, then you're not fat. <laughs> right. So it's goodbye for me. If you Bye. don't leave. We're going to just pump you full of shit at McDonald's to get fat as the fat bastards in this fat film. <laughs> oh, God. We're just well, actually, so, sorry for that person, my diabetic person I saw, to be honest. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, I don't like seeing that. <laughs> We're going to make you shotgun cheeseburgers for the rest of the time if you don't decide to leave. So, it's goodbye for me. Bye for me. Bye. Right. Okay. <coughs> get the fuck out of town. <laughs>